Well, it is time to meet our next Jefferson Award winner. Teresa Miller is a Topeka woman who knows how to get things done. For 13 years, she served as the president for the North Topeka West Neighborhood Improvement Association. And during that time, she helped improve her neighborhood and she helped someone she never expected. Take a drive in North Topeka or get a trike and go for a ride. But don't forget to stop and smell the flowers and appreciate all the changes North Topeka has seen in the last decade. From the sidewalks to the gutters, a new truck stop coming soon, the list goes on and on. But none of it may have been possible had it not been for the neighborhood's fearless leader, Teresa Miller. I wanted to make my community better. And I said, well, we have a nice park, but it can be improved. Teresa's talking about McKinley Park, which she helped fix up by writing grants. I never have written a grant in my life before I had written it. But she learned. In fact, in the 13 years she served as the Neighborhoods Improvement Association's president, she helped the area receive over a million dollars worth of grant money for improvements. This side of North Topeka has been forgotten by the government for a long time. You go on the other side and a lot more things get done. Um, it's just that they, the people here kind of gave up because they felt like nobody cared anymore. And right around that same time Teresa noticed this, she was going through a bit of a crisis herself. She was 35 at the time and had just been diagnosed with tendonitis, carpal tunnel, and fibromyalgia, which led to her having to quit her job as a balance clerk for a local bank. And when I couldn't work anymore, I'm going, what am I going to do? I'm 35 years old. What am I going to do? And so after I had my pity party, I said, I can do something. I'm not worthless. And because of that realization she had all those years ago, her neighborhood is a better place. Yeah, she gets into it and gets so excited about uh, getting things to help the improvement of everything. And once she sets her mind to a project, she stays with that to the finish. Teresa's story is proof that sometimes it takes life's major setbacks to prepare you for your next comeback. It saved me and I helped other people. And Teresa retired from the Neighborhood Improvement Association in January of this year, but she admits it's been extremely hard for her to stop because she just loves doing it so much. Yeah, that was kind of her, her outlet, I guess, in a lot of ways. I like, too, that uh, she saw a problem, mm -hmm. she saw a need in her neighborhood, and so she took it upon herself to get involved and yeah. help solve it. Sometimes we try to put that off on other people or on That's the government. Right. When, we all can make an impact too. Absolutely. And don't forget, you can nominate someone for a Jefferson Award at KSNT.com.